Hi, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place, and uh, this week we've uh, it's, it's no masks, no masks are no longer required. Um, I don't think it's really going to make any difference, is it? Um, let us know in the comments, are you going to carry on wearing masks? I think we are. Because we've been outside, um, we've not really worn masks, but if we've gone into a caravan and we had to go into a caravan or something with a customer, then obviously a mask is required. Um, in the office, we are going to keep up our sneeze screen. We're not going to change anything. We're going to keep that up. Um, so that's, that's stopping. Um, I think in general, we're not really going to do anything different. We're going to keep up with the hand sanitising. As I say, if we're going with inside the caravans, we're going to keep masks on. I know definitely when I go out shopping, etc., I'm going to be wearing a mask. So uh, like it or lump it, that's what I'm doing. Let us know in the comments. Uh, the phone isn't stopping, unfortunately, this morning. Um, so let me just grab that, sorry. So where was I? Uh, so yeah, nothing I think f for me really is going to change. Uh, let us know in the comments if you're going to do anything differently. Um, it's going to be a lot more behind the scenes this week. Uh, I'm going to talk about insurance, so that's going to be a good little subject to take note on. And again, let us know in the comments if, if you'd have, you've had any issues with insurance, etc., which will be coming on a little bit later or towards the end of this video. It's going to be a bit more behind the scenes. I'm going to show you a snippet from last week's video that never got into last week's video, if that makes sense. Um, so that's coming up. If you're liking the video, again, hit that subscribe button. It, it all helps, that really is appreciated if you're subscribing. Again, hit that like button. We tried to hit 300 likes last week, so can we beat it? Uh, we just about did 300 likes last week, so uh, can we get it up to 400? Each week we've been trying to progress by 100, so 400 is this week's uh, target. Can we do it? Right, let's have a little look behind the scenes, and then, as I say, a bit of insurance tips are coming up later on. Uh, I'm basically getting ready to uh, to open up, um, just get the pitch ready, just a bit of a tidy up. Um, there's cables here, there and everywhere. Um, so uh, my first job is, is just having a bit of a, a tidy round. Um, hopefully the dog doesn't come on the pitch yet. Uh, and then I've got a few old leaves here, there and everywhere. So. I'm going to get all the uh, the leaves up, just have a bit of a tidy up. The lads from the workshop, they've they've done the normal trick and left me to tidy up the uh, water and gas and everything. So uh, this morning before people sort of start coming around, I'm going to have a whiz through, get ready. We've got our pickup truck being run at the moment over there. Uh, the battery had gone flat. I've not given it a good run out for the last few days. We'd had the new Discovery, as I said in the last video. Um, and I've been switching between that and our, our van. I'm still using the van a little bit to be fair, so I need to switch back and use the truck on the, uh, the odd occasional days and just stop that battery from going flat. So I'm gonna have a tidy up, I'm gonna put it on time lapse, uh, maybe put a little bit of music on there and then just show you um, our little run around. I'm just going to whiz you through and show you some of the new arrivals that we've had this week. So we've had a Sprite Major 6, that actually came in part exchange. Um, we've got a Swift Classic Pirouette. Now that's a island bed um, at the back with a centre washroom, really nice little van. We've got a Sprite, is it a Sprite Alpine? What is it? Sprite 2? I can't think what it's called now. It's only just, literally, it's only just just alpine too so that's a cracking little van um that's just come in dan's over there hello dan hello. Uh, we've got the swift challenger sport now a nice big six berth if you're looking at a seasonal pitch van this is a cracking cracking van to pop on a seasonal pitch so i bought this just last week so you've got a seating area at the front 
and then another big seating area at the back and two bunk beds either side so again a cracking cracking van a little bailey we had that before that's gone we had this little sprite major six come in uh, that literally came in within two days that was sold so that's come in i think oh there's a little ranger on the very end a little bailey range right on the very end that came in what else had come in we've got a couple of vans that aren't quite ready for for sale we've been so busy trying to get vans going out um that uh, we just haven't got a chance to sort of get on top of all some of the part x's so these are some part or vans that we've bought in um that, that need a little bit of work to be fair so uh this eldest avanti you can see there somebody broke off the water fitting parts oh my gosh parts trying to get parts part of the reason that we can't get some of these vans on sale and i know it's silly um with not having the the water connection on but just actual parts at the minute is ridiculous we just can't get parts so that's holding up us actually getting vans on sale as well luckily some of the sold vans we are managing to get what we want we've been a little bit naughty where we're having to borrow parts off some of the vans that we can't get ready um to get vans out at the minute so that's a little bit naughty but it's just what we're having to do to be able to get the vans actually through the door um so that's coming as i say that just needs a few bits and bobs we've got bailey pageant champagne that's just come in the uh, the token sticker on the back adventure before dementia uh the opal that had come in that got sold straight away we had a bailey unicorn black edition uh, and then we had this cracking cracking old avondale land ranger uh, that i'm going to do a little video on that because i really like that that's a cracking little van um, but that just gives you I, i've really had to try and work my socks off because i was going away uh, and i was going to lose sort of three or four days away without being able to buy anything in uh, i tried to work really hard to get vans in so we've actually got something to sell um, so over the next couple of weeks once we've got these prepped and ready they'll be going on sale so we've got a little bit of stock now again um, ready to go again probably next month as i say that was sort of from from last week actually um and just just going through because we've been away um we uh i tried to buy as much stock as possible but the problem that i've now got is that we've now got our salesman off for two weeks so again it, it's we're actually three weeks now of not really buying an awful lot we've got a few part exchanges coming through from vans being sold but we're going to see stock dwindling down again as i say sales are still going really really strong um we've been paying that a little bit more for for the stock and they've been achieving the higher prices so uh, i think people are willing to to pay the pay the money um we've actually found a seasonal pitch as well at a sensible price so again it, it just does pay you to have a look around and have a search through um and then another thing that came up this week from a customer um it actually he's bought a van he's a bit of a friend in all honesty um he taught me and did my b plus e license um so billy thomas um vehicle training i think it is i will just double check that and i'll put a link into the description um this isn't a paid ad or anything like that it's literally just just a recommendation i used him as i say to do our b plus e so if you're after a b plus e license and you're in the midlands area have a look in our description and i'll put the link to his website in there for him um, but he came up with a real good valid point the other day uh, about insurance now they've had their caravan for about two years now and obviously when they bought it it was before the boom prices hadn't gone silly uh, and they insured it as as normal so they'd insured it pretty much for what they'd bought it for now the problem is that they've insured it for the last two years at that value but prices have now gone up silly so if they were to re have to replace it for some reason if it got stolen or wrote off or damaged or something like that and what the insurance company are saying that they're going to pay out is far less than what it would actually cost to renew that caravan um, my one suggestion was sort of could you do a new for old policy it is a fairly newish caravan so it's probably just within the dates to be able to pop it onto a, a new for old policy but if you've got a slightly older caravan and you can't do that and you've been insuring it for 
two, three years and you, the value that you'd got originally has now obviously gone up, it might be just worth having a chat with your insurance company um, and seeing exactly what, um, what their situation is and what they're saying to you because obviously if something were to happen, you could potentially be out of pocket by a substantial amount. One thing that I'd said to um, Billy was literally, I think if it was me, I would probably have a search through the internet, um, have a look what else is out there of a similar sort of a thing, probably print the details off and then if anything were to happen, at least you can go back to the insurance company and say, well, actually, look, these are the things that are advertised out there at the moment and this is what it would cost me to replace that. So um, just something, just to bear in mind, it's something that gets overlooked. There's quite a lot of caravan thefts out there. So um, make sure that you've got plenty of security, make sure your insurance is all up to date and covered and hopefully um, that will give you a decent tip uh, to go along with the rest of the video this week. So thanks for watching, I'm Mark at The Caravan Place.